Years ago, I played a fledgling tank combat game known as World of Tanks. Now, this multiplayer action experience from Wargaming has taken over as one of the largest online gaming communities in the world. Though I've long since stopped playing World of Tanks, the popularity of the game and its massive online community is undeniable. Though you can buy a range of hoodies and t-shirts as part of the World of Tanks merchandise, Master Brand has come out with a more upmarket collection of tank inspired clothing. Their jacket designs are inspired by uniforms worn by tank crews and actually look quite good. Due to the similarity between these jackets, it was hard to choose between the front, the tank commander and the tank gunner. The tank captain is a cotton jacket, but the colour scheme and the design didn't really appeal to me, so this was an easy pass. The tank commander looked like a much sturdier design and the khaki colour scheme was appealing, but I was looking for a heavy woolen jacket, so I also gave this a pass. Though, it does look very nice if you're looking for this colour and style. The front is the collection's flagship item and is made from 100% Nappa pig leather. The design looks very clean and I was very tempted to go for this item. However, the jacket does feature the World of Tanks logo prominently on the upper left chest. If you've seen my other reviews, you know that I prefer minimal branding, and I feel that the large badge ruins an otherwise great design. That left the tank gunner. Though it looks cheaper, and is in fact the cheapest option, I knew what to expect. Having owned the Edward coat, which is also carbon coated cotton, I knew that the material was going to be rugged and glossy, and I really liked the cleaner design without the huge branding. I ended up choosing the tank gunner, and I did not regret it. Although the jacket looks lighter in the photos, it is in fact a dark brown jacket. Due to the carbon coat, it does look and feel glossy, but this is by no means a flimsy jacket. The first thing I appreciated in this jacket was its comfort. The lining of the jacket is a distinctive bright orange. The padding is impressively thick, making it a snug fit when worn. This in turn makes the jacket very warm, and you probably won't need to wear extra layers in cold weather. The front of the jacket has a very clean design, with only a faint zigzag stitching down the middle. Noticeably, the jacket has an off-centered zipper, based on tank uniforms. In appearance, this gives the jacket more clean space on the front, giving it a distinct military style look. The shoulder straps also add to this impression, along with the insignia on the sleeves. The jacket can be worn unzipped and looks rather normal. When fully zipped up, the jacket has a nice closed collar, keeping a snug fit while giving off a tough look. The cuffs also have cosmetic straps to add to the military theme. Although you can't see from the outside, the sleeve has an inner cuff. This one is a more snug, soft fit around the wrist, forming an effective seal and adding to the overall comfort and warmth of the jacket. While I do praise the clean, minimalistic design, I find the pockets to be a little strange. The two waist pockets are normal enough, but the front pocket flap is a little awkward. It is a snug fit for a phone, but the placement of the pocket is a little too high, making it uncomfortable to place and retrieve objects. Additionally, due to the angle of the pocket, using your right hand is even clumsier. There is also an easily missed button-up pocket in the inner left hip area. This is also somewhat clumsy to use, since you can't easily reach it from either side and not when the jacket is closed. When it comes to branding, the right sleeve features the World of Tanks patch. Master Brand has a habit of creating interchangeable personalization options, and this can be seen on the left sleeve. The strap can be unbuttoned and the eyelet can be replaced with a set of faction specific tabs, as well as tank class icons, if this is your thing. Personally, I'd rather keep it minimalistic, as I doubt many people would recognise the symbolism. 
Now, even though I haven't played World of Tanks for a couple of years, and although I do still watch some World of Tanks videos, I am very impressed with this jacket. It is a very comfortable, nice fitting jacket. It is appropriate for cool weather, cold weather, definitely one of those single layer jackets. Um, again, with a lot of the muscle brand clothing, the inner lining is quite thick and very padded and very warm, so you don't really need to wear much just underneath. And what makes this especially warm is the way it's so sealed and closed up. Uh, the zip goes all the way up and there's very little uh, room for air to get out or get in. So um, it's a nice compact shell. Uh, this makes it really good for cold weather. Even the sleeves and the cuffs, which I mentioned before, um, they form a nice seal around your wrist. So again, you won't get any drafts coming into your coat uh, or coming through your arms. So it's actually a very nice closed jacket. The design of the jacket is quite clean. Uh, it's mostly flat, a couple of zigzag stitches down here, but otherwise the only distinguishing feature is the zip that is off-center. And this makes it quite nice and appreciable. You can see the military-inspired theme to the jacket. Now, of course, with the bright orange lining, it isn't truly a military jacket, but it definitely draws on military designs, which is the whole point of the World of Tanks line of clothing from Master Brand. Um, definitely something you can see uh, tank crews wearing historically. Um, so it has that throwback, and I do like that appeal. Um, without looking too much like a militant, and that too is quite important when looking at urban wear. I do like the carbon coated layer, it has that, it kind of looks like leather but isn't real leather kind of look, and it is cheaper, so for the budget conscious, uh, this is the jacket to choose. It has the right colour scheme for that military look, for that tank or that bomber jacket look, uh, while at the same time not pushing yourself too far out of your budget. Now, I was seriously considering buying the front. That's the other jacket which Master Brand offers, which is very similar to this one. Slightly different color, but same design with the off center jacket uh, and the collar and the, the cuffs, but it's made from leather. Um, I wasn't too sure which one to get because I like the front look better. The problem with the front in, that I didn't like was it's not really a problem, but uh, as you've probably uh, known from most of my reviews, I tend to prefer clothing with minimal branding. I don't like huge logos on my jackets. Um, the front has the World of Tanks logo, a very large one, on the left side. I thought that was a little... I didn't like it. Um, I think that's too prominent. When it's something on the sleeves, I think this is a much better placement. One, because that's normally where your rack insignia would go anyway, so it kind of feels normal. Secondly, these logos, again, are blending quite ni nicely. So, um, the one on the right sleeve is a uh, leather patch. You can't take it off, it looks a bit ugly, but you can leave it on. And if people notice it, they'll notice it, um, but it's not going to be a huge uh, eyesore. Um, a lot of um, designer clothing labels are just as prominent, so this one wouldn't stand out too much. The second one with customizable um, straps can be removed, but even if you leave it on, it's not that of a much of a standout. So this is okay. So as far as the design and style of the jacket are concerned, this one gets the pass grade. I like it. It's comfortable. It's practical and it's not too much of a fanboy jacket. Now, if you are in it for the World of Tanks branding, I'm not entirely sure how this will turn out because, uh, firstly, I, I know World of Tanks is one of the largest uh, competitive games at the moment. It's absolutely huge. Um, I mean, what I played years ago when it just started out, and uh, I know games like League of Legends and Dota have taken hold of the esports community, but worldwide, uh, World of Tanks is actually quite large. They do promos, they do, um, I mean, in fact, they have a promo with Mustard Brand at the moment. If you buy the front as well as the faction patches, uh, you can get the 88mm uh, uh, Panther or something. So um, they do have uh, deals uh, and partnerships with uh, companies like Muscle Brand and other companies for different reasons. So the branding of Wargaming and World of Tanks is out there. But I'm not entirely sure how that would translate to clothing. 
Um, the World of Tanks line is a fairly new line. Uh, I'm not sure how many people have bought these jackets, and obviously, um, as the minority in gamers, you probably won't see too many other people play World of Tanks, um, apart from your friends. So, um, while it's a nice jacket, I don't think this will be recognised as a brand. Compared to something like Watch Dogs, or Assassin's Creed, or even Metal Gear Solid, I think the, bra the recognisable branding is going to be a little obscure to most people. So while I do expect people to recognize this as a bomber jacket or a tank jacket or some kind of military jacket, I don't expect them to recognize this as a World of Tanks jacket. Um, if you can see the patch and you play World of Tanks, then you probably know what you're looking at. Otherwise, it's not that distinguishable. And again, because World of Tanks doesn't have any characters to cosplay as, um, you're basically wearing historical uniform-inspired clothing more so than dressing up as a recognizable game character. Overall, I uh, definitely recommend this jacket uh, as a jacket more so than a World of Tanks jacket. Fashionable, uh, clean, uh, warm, so it's a good jacket. I was very impressed when I got it and I first put it on. Very nice fit, very good feeling, it does feel good. I think that's something I do underrate sometimes in uh, merchandise is how good it feels. Um, you get some really cheap merchandise sometimes and it feels really thin and sloppy. This one feels like a solid jacket, so it's worth the money. Uh, it is exactly what you, you expect to pay for and overall very happy with the design of the jacket. So if you are looking at something a little different, um, even if you don't play uh, World of Tanks, but you want some kind of military inspired clothing um, that isn't actual military, so not looking at army surplus or outdoor gear. Uh, this is a jacket which is suitable for most casual occasions. Uh, it's a nice go-to jacket, so you just leave it lying around and just put it on. So it's a, yeah, it's a pretty comfortable jacket, and uh, I think you probably like it. Anyway, I hope you found this review helpful. This is New Sensei. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.